Hey Aliupa and welcome to my big Swedish adventure. I'm riding the length of Sweden from north to south. In the previous episode, I got acquainted with dinosaur-sized mosquitoes and a little bit of mud and some rain. Oh man, it was fun. So let's do it again. I was hoping to wake up to no sounds of rain. It's been like this all night. Oh boy, at least I slept well. Thank you, cozy tent. Maybe I'll stay here all day. Oh. Good morning, mosquitoes. I've missed you. Ooh, I look puffy, don't I? <laughs> so I don't have cell reception here, but my Garmin will tell me the weather, which is really cool. The not cool part is it says 100% chance of rain at 7, 90% at 11, 90 at 1, 90 at 3. You know what will make this situation a little bit better? Peanut butter Nutella for sure. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to stay a little positive about this situation. Like, this is not ideal at all. <laughs> it's going to be wet and cold. Packing up's not going to be fun. And then the road's going to be super slow and muddy. Even last night I was just, you know, getting stuck in the mud all the time. I'm just sitting here kicking myself, laughing to myself that I should have just stayed in that town and gotten a hotel. I would be warm and all my stuff would be dry and I could wait out the storm. <laughs> the 10 miles that I gained last night after dinner were not worth this. <laughs> oh man. But you know what? I look at situations like this as learning moments. You know, some of the toughest times of my life when I was on that survival show in the jungles of Venezuela, it was really hard, it was really uncomfortable, but I look back on that experience as one of the most valuable experiences of my life. Because I really just had to dig deep to get through just impossible times, and this is not an impossible time. It's uncomfortable and it's a bummer, but, you know, sometimes life throws things at you that that you don't choose. Like, I, cho I chose this. I chose to be here. I chose this adventure. But sometimes life gives you stuff that you don't choose and um, you just kind of be ready for all those moments and this is like practice this is practice for the tough times in life <sighs> and i'll get through this it's just rain i have all the clothes i have all the gear i have all the technology to get me through this oh boy gloomy morning <laughs> oh god I just tried to stop and pee and mosquitoes are all over me. I can't do anything! Help! <laughs> Can you see all the mosquitoes there? Can you see that? Oh. Ah. Check this out. That looks like very fresh reindeer poop. It must have come by last night to bless my tent. Thank you, reindeer. Oh, God, mosquitoes are nuts. They're nuts, I thought, don't they ever take a break? Oh! <laughs> I just heard something, it's my alarm going off. Nothing like a little Billy Idol to get you going. Whoo! Yeah! Oh, God, I just keep thinking I should have stayed at a hotel. They're everywhere. Summer in Sweden, so lovely. Midnight sun, I love it. <laughs> Haven't even seen the midnight sun. Oh, almost there, almost there. <laughs> the rain's actually not that bad right now, it's the mosquitoes. Oh God, oh God, here we go, here we go. Okay, thank you, dry piece of land and mosquito-infested area. Let us get out of here. Let's get out of here. Thank you, thank you. Not forgetting anything. Mornings like this where you're scrambling are always dangerous because 
you can easily forget something, but I seem to be good. Oh, oh the road looks real bad. Oh. I don't know about this. Oh man, this might be impossible. Oh. I should have stayed in a hotel. What am I doing? Oh. oh man. No crashes, no flatties, no whammies, no mud, no rain, no mosquitoes. Jeez. Oh, it does feel good to be moving though. Oh. Man. Whew. What have I gotten myself into? Ah. And with this European Divide Trail, there's really not a whole lot of towns or services. It does look like there's a place up here called Cobe d'Alis. I can't tell if it has hotels. I can just see on my map that there's a small grid of streets and stuff. So we will see, and that's about 50 miles away. If not, if it gets really bad again, then I will just put the tent up and <laughs> call it a day I don't know but uh, I'm hoping that I find something I need some trail magic today come on trail magic you know it's ironic it's been a really really wet rainy spring in Boulder tons of rain and I guess here up until yesterday it was very hot and dry so this is one of those instances where I definitely brought the weather with with me <laughs> And you know what? It's gonna feel so good once the sun finally does come out. That'll be an amazing feeling. But yeah, it's a little spooky, there's no doubt. <laughs> this is not fun. This is not fun anymore. But it will be fun at some point, just not right now. And a lot of you have heard me talk about, I had to wipe this lens a little bit, does that help? A lot of you have heard me talk about the gratitude march. And I usually do that in races or moments on bike tours that are really physically hard and everything aches and I'm in pain. But now is a good time for the gratitude march. And I just think about everybody I love and it warms my heart, my mom and brothers and sister and dad and nie nieces and nephews oh, and again it just helps keep my mind off the discomfort of the moment oh, I really enjoy thinking about the good things in life <laughs> and it's all family usually family and friends the simple things a nice sunny day in Boulder <laughs> Uh, a nice sunny day in Sweden someday. I haven't really experienced a full on sunny day yet here. So yeah, I'm just putting out a lot of love into the world. And a, love, a lot of love for you who are watching this right now. I really appreciate it. Like, this is my job. I get to do this. I'm choosing to do this. And it's a dream situation, no doubt. It's a moose up there running across the road. It's raining, it's pouring. Okay, I'm about sick of this now. <laughs> Where'd you go, moose? I saw you. You just ran right into these woods.
You know, in moments like these, it's really easy to focus on the bad because it's uncomfortable and it just takes over all your thoughts and you get scared and you start being driven by fear. Um, but most of this trip has been great. The first day, day was smooth besides traffic. Yesterday was 85% good. You know, I met some wonderful people, had some great moments. The riding was pleasant. It's just been since yesterday at about 6 p.m. where things have gone south and uncomfortable. Oh, it looks like I'm off route here. Hold on. I did not see a place to go back here. It did not look like a place where I want to ride my bike. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm trying to focus on the good here. And it wants me to go that way, really? Really? That way? That doesn't look fun in there. That looks like a bog. I wonder if there's a way I can avoid this. Oh boy. And the hard thing about navigating right now is these screens don't work well in the rain. Oh yeah. Fun time. Oh gosh. No, this is not what I wanted to deal with today. Here we go. It's adventure time. This road probably isn't too bad when it's dry, but obviously right now it's not dry. I'm riding along making a ton of noise just to spook any bears or moose. Ole, 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 ole. Oh, my garment just got excited about something. <laughs> mud, mud, mud. Ugh. Come on. Vroom, 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 vroom. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Really raining now. <laughs> right when I get off the smooth road and turn into a bog. The crazy thing is, you'd think there wouldn't be mosquitoes. It's so rainy, but they're all over me every time I slow down. No, oh, no more, please. Damn. Oh. Come on. There's a double whammy happening right now. Rain and mosquitoes. Oh boy. Today's turning out to be pretty interesting, isn't it? <laughs> and it's only like, I don't know, 10.30 in the morning. Oh, okay, this is much better. Tiny victories, tiny victories. Check it out, I'm on a smooth road. Woo! Oh, it's the little things right now that are making me happy. The rain hasn't stopped, but at least this road is nice and smooth. <sighs> Nothing lasts forever. The good doesn't last forever. The bad, the muddy roads, the mosquitoes. Everything has its time and its moment. And that's why I keep moving forward.
Okay, now I'm getting cold. Everything is soaked through. And yeah, that's when things get worrisome. You don't want to get too cold out here. So I'm trying to pedal as fast as I can just to keep my body temperature up, my core. This rain is, does not seem to be going anywhere. So here I am riding by my favorite red and white summer stugas, summer houses. And I knock on the door at this place and I said, hey, is there any place to rent around here? And he says, yes, you can have this one. Do you mean Yelte? <laughs> and my friend here, Anders, is from Denmark and he's also riding the European Divide. How you doing, buddy? I'm tired. <laughs> tired, yeah. Did you deal with rain yesterday? Yeah. It was and the first, first time I had real rain yeah. on the tour. Yeah, but. yeah. <laughs> and these people saved you as well? Yeah, That's they okay. did. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Taxi jättemycket, du är mycket, mycket snäll. Är det vanlig väder just nu eller? Nej, vi har ju haft jättebra väder hela sommaren. Är det sant? Det är först nu, det är ju igår det började regna. Sen har vi ju haft 28, 29 grader varmt. Vilken tur jag har. Ja, men det skulle bli bättre imorgon. Okej, det är bra. Kanske. Better weather tomorrow. Så hur har den europeiska divide varit? really hard but you're having fun yeah Good. it's yeah but it's been a lot harder than i expected yeah so. <laughs> yeah i would say so too just the rain has made it really hard in the last couple yeah. days the, when it's dry the gravel roads here are amazing yeah but when it's wet they just the sand just gets everywhere uh, yesterday it, i could hear my um the drive train yeah it's like it being um you could hear the sand in it, oh, just, just grinding away. Grinding, All uh. the loop had been washed out. Woo. We are really glad we're not out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. So that all happened pretty quickly and I didn't capture it all that well on camera. But I'm riding down this road getting absolutely drenched. And I just thought, I'm going to stop and ask people here if they know of hotels or something in the town where I was headed, Kob Dalis, which is like 20 miles from where I am now. So I knocked on the door and the Swedes being Swedes are just like, come in. <laughs> they don't even know who it is. So I open the door and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm Ryan. I'm riding, the, you know, the European divide. Are there places to rent down the road? They're like, we don't know about that, but you can just stay here. And then boom, everything just went into action. He was like, yeah, you can stay here. And then they're like, by chance, we have this young Danish guy who's also riding the Great Divide or European Divide. And he's here too. And here I am in my very own little Swedish Sommarstuga. And they're just so generous and kind. He kept bringing towels and, and stuff. And he's like, come get lunch here pretty soon. And... I am so happy to be out of that rain. Oh man. And this morning when I got on my bike and I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I continuing into this mess? This is why. For moments like this, this makes everything worth it. It makes everything so, oh, just so beautiful when you connect with awesome humans who are just willing to help immediately. And knocked on the door and they're like, yeah, man, you can stay here. Didn't think twice about it. So cool. These are the moments when the pinion gearbox and the gate belt drive shine. All that mud and gunk and sand didn't stop me. A traditional drivetrain would have, have a hard time in these type of conditions. But I'm thankful for this technology. I am hanging everything out to dry. Pretty much everything is just soaking wet you see all those those are mosquitoes that is so gross they must have gotten in there when i was packing up my tent this morning but that gives you an idea of how many mosquitoes want to come in my tent and suck my blood every night hey there 
guess what? I might be pointing out the obvious, but uh, it's not raining. There's nothing falling out of the sky right now. And I am dry, and I am happy, and I am dry, and I am happy. <laughs> Man, this morning was rough. I don't think I've ever had to pack up camp in those types of conditions. And every day I'm here, I feel more connected with my past in Sweden. You know, and I hear people speaking Swedish, and I'm picking up words again. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that word. And I feel good, and I feel happy, and I feel dry. Have I said that yet? Oh, yes. So there's my route. I'm the blue dot. That's what I've already ridden. And I have to go all the way down to the bottom. I have a really long way to go, and it's a little overwhelming. And I was hoping to be doing bigger days. But this European divide is tough. I have a tight timeline. I have a plane ticket home already. So I might have to rethink my route in order to get down to the bottom of Sweden. I'm only on day three, but uh, I'm already having some of those thoughts like, oh boy, I'm far. <laughs> but at least I'm having a great time. And I say that with total honesty. Like even today and last night, they were rough, they were scary, they were uncomfortable, but I'm loving it. And like I've said many times, I'm loving it because of the people. Like Anders saved the day today and we just, sat and had meals and chatted all evening and it's just so fun to connect with humans all over the world especially here in Sweden a place that I love with all of my heart and tomorrow's a new day and I'm hoping for sun or at least no rain we shall see and I'm just gonna keep on going and see how far I get this is an adventure this is my adventure I chose to be here there's no rules and I'm just out here to, to have a great experience and to, to share it with you um, and hopefully inspire you to come to northern Sweden to get eaten by mosquitoes. <laughs> you know what I mean. Inspire you to get on your bike or do something fun. And I truly believe that tough times make me a better person. They really do. I learn a lot about myself. I build confidence and I get really soft and tender and vulnerable in those moments and I think about everybody who I love and those are all good things. Those are all good practices. And next time I'm in a similar situation, I'll be like, you know what? I got this. I've been through this before and everything turned out A-OK. -okay. As eerie as today was, it was also magical and mystical. I mean, it looked beautiful out there with the rain and the drizzle and the green. And I saw a couple moose. That's neat, that's cool, that doesn't happen every day. And so even when it's tough, I, I like to appreciate the cool things that life throws at you. And I'll look back on this day, I promise, with very fond memories. This is one of those days in my life where I will never forget it. I will never forget today. And you can't say that about every day. Some days are just kind of like routine and boring. Today, a lot of stuff happened. Da, da. There he is! It's Mike! How <laughs> you doing, hey buddy? Good to see you. Hey, I just wanted to jump in and say hi. Hi. <laughs> if you enjoy my videos and they bring value to your life, please consider joining my Patreon. Your support will keep my channel alive so that I can continue making content for you to enjoy. And not only will you be supporting my channel, but you will get early release videos and videos with zero ads. And from time to time, I do these really fun live Zoom chats with my patrons where you can ask me all sorts of questions about anything you want. So consider supporting me. I will link it down below. Also, I wrote a book about my very first adventure called The Long Way Home. And I think it's pretty good, and my mom thinks it's pretty good, so maybe you'll think it's good too. I will link this down below if you would like to purchase it. International orders are tough, the shipping is crazy, so this is pretty much just for my United States friends. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. This is going to be an awesome series, and stay tuned for the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. <laughs> hey, doll!